Welcome back to episode 7, as Tayan wanders back into Tony's store. Please keep Tony Ingle in your prayers, as he remains in hospital still critical. He used to play yes, music in the gym, Irish, Irish music. Pardon? You know the Dubliners? Oh, yeah, yeah. He used to play the same CD every day yeah. and get us shadow boxing to the music, you know, yeah. to get that rhythm, Absolutely. the footwork. My father, he, it was, he wanted you to be a baller and dancer. Mm. Hands up, moving. Gliding around. Gliding. Flowing, That's smooth. If I had anything to do with boxing, the first thing I would do is get a dance teacher in. Yeah. A, rock, a, a, a jiving teacher and a ballroom dancer. There's a boxer called Lomachenko who, hi, who used to hire a ballerina. Absolutely. You know, to teach him like moves, footwork. But you see the body on the ballerina show? Yeah. Fantastic. Mm. Why? Movement. Up on their head, up on their, you know, hands going everywhere. This is what it's all about. Brendan always said, my father always said, you hit, you don't be hit. Yeah. He, Brendan used to get us doing a lot of body sparring yes. and people used to try and criticise Brendan saying it's not realistic. You know, you're not getting used to getting hit in the head. But Brendan said you don't want to get used to getting get hit, in, hit the in the head. You don't want to get used to it. Oh, yeah. Move we the head. Had a, we had a thing called the blows and you you come up to them and you didn't hit the head. You missed the head. But it was following up to this and everything was moving. Your whole leg, body. And when you hit him, he was gone. There was two, you hit them here, under the heart, for me, ribs are there. Mm. Are, you, are you as sort of like meticulous with this place as Brendan was with boxing? Because yes. he used to be in the gym even when no one was there. I used to walk past and well, see him sat there. I, just, you now. I used to see him sat there on his own, you know, in the gym. These were in bits. I'll show you them. Tony shows Tayan the commitment he has to his craft and how he is willing to repair anything just to help people in line with the same values as his brother Brendan. Mm. They were cracked. Yeah. So I had to put a piece over them. Then I had to put these over them. So... Yeah. I love what I do. Sorted them out. Now, there's another woman come in to me, a very old lady, and she says, Tony, can you fix my... Uh, little statuette. I said, no problem. That's the way it was. Mm. Is Tayan finally coming to understand where the values of Brendan Ingle came from? Sorted it out. And that makes you proud, does it? Absolutely. Do you think that's the equivalent of Brendan producing a world champion like Nassim Hamed? I love what I do. The proud feeling. This came from the father. So, you know, you saying your parents were always there. Yeah. You know, some of Brendan's children. Yeah because Brendan spent so much time with the boxers like Nassim yeah. and Johnny Nelson and others like myself. Do you think that some of, the, some of Brendan's children felt sort of like neglected? Because I remember his daughter saying one time that, it's, she said it in Brendan's book I think, mm. that Brendan spent more time with everyone else's children than his own. Do you know what I mean? So... Well, I, now that's an awkward question. I love all my kids. Yeah, I think because he loved boxing so much, he spent well, so I much time... I love so much. Yeah. But I never let them interfere with my family life. Yeah. My, and my grandkids are the same. I can, I ring up my grandlads, grandkids, have a chat, hey, grandlad, and what have you. And I spend a lot of time with them as well. But my father spent, he was interested in the pigeons, he was interested in the boxing, but he never neglected his family. Mm. Do you think because Brenda made the sacrifice of moving to England, so it was like a, more important for him to sort of make that money, you know, and succeed. But he didn't do anything with the money. He didn't do he it. He got loads of money. I think he, got, did, he invested it in properties and stuff like that. Yeah, no, good to. What do you think, what do you think, Brendan wasted the money or? No, no, never wasted money. But I have one house. I live in it. Mm. I have to shop here. Yeah. I can only sleep in one bed. Probably for the children, you know, to pass on to the next generation and so they yeah, and he's left them alone. He said that he's seen his brother go to England, come back in a nice suit, a load of money, and he thought, that's that's where I need to go, Absolutely. England. That's why he went. So he went to England, yeah. I came, my brother Peter came home here, and he gave me a pinstripe, I'll never forget it, pinstripe blue black 
strength. Absolutely gorgeous. A pair of crocodile pointed shoes, patent leather. Mm. White short, red tie. Yeah. It was pink. You know what I mean? Absolutely gorgeous. But my ambition, I had no ambition to go away. Yeah. I like going on holidays. He did. He wasn't. He used to say, um, "Eat to live, don't live to eat." So don't be a, like a gluttonous pig, you know, just shoving food in your face every minute. Not sure what Tayan is trying to learn here, because all he is asking about is money. Very surprised he hasn't brought up anything zesty yet. There's still time. Uh, what, what did he say about adultery? Oh dear, here we go. So I used to go to saunas with Brendan. You know, the saunas, the, the hot sauna. We used to sit in there and he used to talk about boxing and stuff like that all life. Yeah. You know, if a woman came into the sauna, yeah. Brendan would get up and leave. Yeah. You know, having that kind of discipline to leave yeah. when a woman walks in with a swimsuit on. This is Where's uh, in, in, in modesty. And I do see them. Oh, I, I've no time for it. How are you, sir? Thankfully, a customer walked in and this conversation didn't go any further. You know, amongst the generations of sort of like Brendan, you, and then Brendan's sons, Dominic. Dominic Ingle doesn't drink. He does his weights, you know what I mean? He looks after his money, and his children are the same. Really disciplined, but I, yeah, a lot. Mm. Let's hope he can use this as inspiration to stop drinking his life away. Tayan then reflects on his experience with Tony so far. It's, but, you know, because he's interacting with people every day, he's got people skills, so he knows how to talk to people, do you know what I mean? I've never done this kind of job before, you know, I'm just interacting with people just yeah. in and out all the yeah. time. Yeah. So you seem to have those sociable, Anybody. social I'm skills. You said you've had a load of Muslims in here, a load yeah, of blacks. The yeah, they're in and out. Two in this morning, two black girls in today. And all my customers now are nearly foreign people. Mm. And they all come, I think, just because I say hello to them. Yeah, But friendly. I say hello to everybody. Yeah. And there's another fellow passes by here, he's 90 years of age, Robert. And he passes, hey, say hello, Robert! <laughs> yeah. The human interaction. Human interaction. Making it enjoyable, like the Ingle Gym back in the day. Tyan finds it hard to believe that Tony has been with his wife for over 50 years. That takes a lot of discipline when you see women walking up and down. Since I've been studying, I've seen women walking up and down here, nice young women. Just so you gotta, you, you're disciplined. Yeah, come in, can I have a chat with them? Yeah. But you, Just a you, chat, you yeah. love them, mm. but you don't fall in love with them. Yeah. You meet one and you say yes, but she has to love you. It's a boat, it's not just me loving her. She has to love you. My mother and father were the best example of that. My father never went to work in the morning without giving the, me, my mother a kiss in the morning. He came down for dinner hour at his dinner, never left until he gave her a kiss in the morning. When he come back, put his arms around you, how are you? Give another kiss. Yeah. How can you beat that? Great values and advice from Tony. Hope Tyan has something valuable to say now. If you've got one woman, you've got enough problems. If you've got more than one woman, you've got plenty of problems. Most of my problems have come from women, you know, being arrested, being just... Before this conversation turns any more negative, Tony invites Tayan to a tour of the shop. And this is where he works. But I love what I do. You know what I mean? Mm. I have all my grandkids here. Graffiti. And there's what my grandson there the other day, last week. Best granddad in the world. And she says, Grandad, why do you do that? Why do you let us do that? Because you're my grandkids. She mm. says, my mummy and daddy wouldn't let me do that. I says, you can paint all of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But they love coming in here. What did they say? I do not like my bike. Is that what that says? Yeah. Bike. Yeah, and this was, this is my grand. He, he's another great, that was, he's, he's a huge fella. Yeah. <laughs> but I, from babies, you can see them all going up. Mm. Not much of a reaction from Tyan here. Tony then shows the cult leader his pack-up lunch, which his wife has been preparing for him every day for the past 50 plus years. Eat to live, don't live to eat. You're not, you're not big and fat like a lot of these people who are in McDonald's every day. Yeah, Alma, you know Alma? She used to come to the gym and say, Brendan, your dinner's ready. You know what I mean? Old-fashioned, traditional couples. They're dying out. 
some women today, you know, the younger generation, they'll see that as degrading, you know, to cook for their man. You know, because they're told to be like career women and stuff like that, so it's, it's all dying. Do you know what they say? They say that, you know, in today's day and age, they're kind of like making women go out to work full time, you know, so they can tax the women as well. So they can bring in more money from taxing women, as well as the men from working full time. I'll give you the reason. Years ago, the man went out to work. Mm. The woman was king of the castle. She was queen of the house. Everything. She was the educator. She was the cleaner. She was the lover. She was everything. Right? Then they come along. Now the man was the worker. He went out, got the money, gave him, you know, paid all the bills, gave to her, paid the bills, what have you. Then it come along and he said he hired up the price of housing. Yeah. So single people could not afford it. So the wife had to go out mm. and work. She has to work twice as hard now because she's working in the in the, the economy. She's a cleaner. She's a lover. She's a childminder and she's an educator. A very fair and respective view on how society has been changed there. I wonder what Tyan thinks of all this. Have you been having that same sort of meal for years? My mother, yes. Because today they've, they've kind of altered the food where it's all processed. My wife says They're filling it up with crap. Food was a bit more natural back then, wasn't it? Was you, know, you know, compared to now. As the conversation comes to an end, it's time for Tayan to leave with all this newly gained knowledge. Before he leaves, Tony has one small request for Tayan, which gives us this wholesome moment. Family, family oriented. I love it. I'm in work. Go. I've he never hugged Brendan. So is you. Yeah, is he? And I, I used to hug him that way, now I have to hug him that way. <laughs> nice to meet you. That's what I have to do, I have to All hug right. him that way. Oh, you have to do that, yeah? Yeah, because he's too high, but I... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? All right, Tony, nice I meeting did. you. Very yeah, nice. Absolutely. Very nice. And as I said, live life simple. Yeah. Don't go mad. If you don't meet the girl of your dreams, so what? Yeah. Jesus never got married. What's for you won't pass you. Mm. If you're to get it, you will get it. I don't, and I don't. Get it, you will not get it. Yeah. And I see, I see, you see, we have that, we have all our, <laughs> we have our on the Mary's mantle, they have our day, we have our prayer, we have them everywhere. Mm. It's not for being bad religious. You have to have something. Yeah. You know, you have to have something. And help everybody if you can. Yeah, that's it. All right, Tony, have a good day. Nice yes. meeting you. We hope you enjoyed this episode. A polite reminder to keep Tony Ingle in your prayers.